after receiving complaints about tainted gasoline, the Georgia Department of Agriculture came out to inspect. We could see traces of, of a product in the sample. The pumps were locked while the samples were sent to Tifton for an analysis. The results confirmed what customers had suspected. The regular was contaminated with an unknown product. The premium was contaminated with water. That station has what's called blended pumps, which means the mid-grade is made from the regular and the premium. Tom Gierick, a mechanic in Albany, says a driver would know if he got a hold of some of the bad fuel. If we're talking about a huge amount of water, let's say over 5% of the uh, fuel capacity in water, uh, the car is going to probably stop running, or it's going to run so ragged, you know, you'd be scared to drive it. Gierick says to fix the problem, it could cost anywhere from $200 to $800. If the cars were damaged, generally the station is responsible for repairs to the cars. They're liable for the damages. Rich Lewis with the Georgia Department of Agriculture says it could be speculated that the water got in the tanks through condensation or a leak. Either way, the pumps will stay locked until the issue is resolved. Petro South of Albany supplied the product. They will take the necessary steps to clean the tanks, put fresh product, clean the lines, change the filters, all of the things that have to be done at this point. After this is done, state officials will perform another test to see if the contaminants are gone.